Three Billy Goats Gruff by Mac Barnett. Once there was a bridge, and a terrible and very hungry troll lived underneath it. When the three Billy Goats Gruff decided to clip clop across the bridge to get to the grassy ridge, the troll is already imagining all the ways to prepare a delicious goat dinner. In this fractured fairy tale, the troll underestimates those seemingly sweet but oh so savvy goats. This book has already won a Caldecott Medal for its beautiful illustrations and is a New York Times bestseller. Check out The Three Billy Goats Gruff! Night Owl by Christopher Denise A determined owl builds strength and confidence in this medieval picture book about the real metal of a hero, wits, humor, and heart. Since the day he hatched, Owl dreamed of becoming a real knight. He may not be the biggest or the strongest, but his sharp nocturnal instincts can help protect the castle, especially since many knights have recently gone missing. While holding guard during night-night watch, Owl is faced with the ultimate trial, a frightening intruder. It's a daunting duel by any measure. But what Owl lacks in size, he makes up for in good ideas. The illustrator of this book has already been awarded a Caldecott Medal for the amazing artwork. You will surely enjoy Night Owl because of the fun wordplay and the optimism of the main character. Maybe by Chris Houghton, with vivid colors, bold shapes, and his lots of visual humor, Chris Houghton is back with a deliciously suspenseful cautionary tale about pushing boundaries and indulging your more impish side when nobody is looking. In Maybe by Chris Houghton, a trio of misbehaving monkeys have a close call three little monkeys and their big monkey are sitting high on a branch in the forest canopy okay monkeys i'm off says the big monkey remember whatever you do do not go down to the mango tree there are tigers down there Mmm, mangoes think the little monkeys they love mangoes hmm maybe maybe they could just look at the mangoes. That would be okay, right? Bug on the Rug by Sophia Goles. Do you love books that rhyme? Then you will love Bug on a Rug by Sophia Goles. Pug is snug on his rug, but what happens when along comes Bug with a claim to the rug? Pug and Bug engage in a hysterical rhyming battle of wits and strength until Slug helps the two main characters understand each other and offer apologies. All agree that nothing's so snug as friendship and happily share the rug. It is a humorous story about finding common ground, owning mistakes, and accepting differences. Enjoy this fun book and it is even better when it's read out loud. A Mouthful of Minnows by John Hare at the bottom of the pond, a Afonso, the snapping turtle, opens his mouth wide, wiggles his tongue, and waits for breakfast. He broadly notes a small minnow, but he chews when all of them show up. Afonso's way has paid off, but when a wild family of minnows arrives to celebrate together, Fonzo's two character emerges and he has second thoughts about the breakfast he's been waiting for. What if his breakfast is too likable and friendly? To eat a mouthful of minnows is a funny book about friendship and empty. Tomatoes in My Lunchbox by Gostantia Manoli. This is a moving picture book about a child who has newly arrived in another country. She feels displaced, lonely, and a little scared on her first day of school. Her name doesn't sound the way she's used to hearing it. She knows she doesn't fit in, and when she eats her whole tomato for lunch, she can feel her classmates observing her and not quite understanding her. But sometimes all it takes is one friend one connection to bring two worlds together and gradually the girl, her tomato, and her full name start to feel at home with her new friends and community. Read Tomato in My Lunchbox by Gostantia Manoli which shares the universal experience of feeling out of place. Not That Pet by Smriti Prasadam Hall 
Mabel's family is letting her pick what kind of pet to get, and she is determined to find the very best one. But what if the ants are too tiny, the hyena's too giggly, or the owl is too loud? What if the snake almost strangles Grandad and the skunk wants to spray the baby? Yikes! None of the pets she tries out seems like the right fit. You will laugh out loud as you follow Mabel through several comical reveals. Not That Pet is a hilarious rhyming read aloud and includes charming illustrations that will have you laughing and dreaming of getting your own quirky pets. Will Mabel find her furry match? Chickeny Criminal Mastermind by Monica Silvey. A flying masked bandit codenamed Chickadee, discovers he isn't quite who he thinks he is. In this fresh and delightful tale about discovering one's true nature, meet Chickadee, criminal rapscallion all around bad seed. Sure, he starts out obeying the rules following his parents' advice about finding things to eat and staying away from houses. But Then winter arrives, and it's so much harder to find food in winter. So when Chickadee spies a vault full of gold near a house by the park, wait, wasn't there something to remember about houses? He cleverly devises a plan to snatch the vault full of treasure without getting caught. Only, hmm... The humans near the vault seem to want him to visit. Maybe Chickadee's not a criminal after all. Big Truck Little Island by Chris Van Dusen. Here's a book about a perfect little slice of life with a unique take on kindness and compromise. When a big truck and its big load get stuck on a narrow road, traffic on the little island comes to a halt. Some cars need to go south and some have to travel north. How will Meg get to her swim meet? What about Barry's ballet class? Luckily, the kids come up with an ingenious solution. Why not just swap the cars? Inspired by an incident that happened in Maine, Big Truck Little Island tells a fun tale of resourcefulness and community through clever rhyming wordplay and whimsical illustrations. And there are plenty of cars and trucks sprinkled in the pages for transportation-loving readers. When Glitterman and Glue by Karen Kilpatrick. Glue loves making art with her friends, especially pasting on googly eyes. But sometimes she feels invisible. Instead of always being stuck in the background, Glue wants to be seen like Benzel and colorful like the Markles. How can she find a way to stand out? When a new friend named Glitter arrives, Glue and Glitter team up to make something completely original and and help Glue shine like the star she truly is. When Glitterman Glue is about art hero, a glue bottle, and a funny story. Doggo and Pupper by Catherine Applegate. An old dog has to welcome a new puppy to the household in the chapter book Doggo and Pupper. Doggo is used to things being a certain way in his family. He likes routine. Cat says Doggo has become boring. That is, until Pupper shows up. Pupper is playful and messy and turns the house upside down. Soon the humans realize that Pupper needs some training and off he goes to puppy school. When Pupper comes back, he's well behaved. He's not playful. He's not messy. But Doggo soon realizes that Pupper also isn't happy. So Doggo steps in to help and rediscovers what it means to have fun. Cornbread and Poppy by Matthew Cordell. Two mouse friends approach life very differently. Cornbread loves planning, Poppy does not. Cornbread adores preparing, Poppy does not. Cornbread is ready for winter, Poppy is not. But Cornbread and Poppy are the best of friends. So when Poppy is left without any food for the long winter, Cornbread volunteers to help her out. 
Their search leads them up, up, up Holler Mountain, where these mice might find a new friend and an old one. Cornbread and Poppy is a humorous beginning chapter book about steadfast friends with opposite personalities. Matthew Cordell is the author and the illustrator of the book and uses pen and ink with some watercolor to capture Cornbread and Poppy's activities and expressive faces. Bippity Boppity Academy Roy and the Magical Mix-Ups by Callie George. What are the secrets to becoming a fairy godmother? Find out in Bippity Boppity Academy, Roy and the Magical Mix-Ups. In the first book of the illustrated chapter book series, Roy Spellington is fluttering with excitement as she begins her first year at the famous Bippity Boppity Academy. But Fairy godmothering might not be as easy as she thought, especially because Roy has always struggled with spelling. Magic spelling, that is. During her first week at the academy, Roy discovers there is more to being a good fairy godmother than magic, and she will learn she has her own set of talents that Set her apart. Sir Ladybug by Corey Tabor. Ladies and gentle bugs, presenting the Duke of the Dandelion Patch, champion of truth and justice, the one, the only, Sir Ladybug. Sir Ladybug never shies away from a quest, even when he'd rather be playing a video game or baking a cake. So when a caterpillar needs rescuing from a monster, a hungry chickadee, Sir Ladybug and his trusty friends, his herald, a roly-poly named Pell, and his squire, a snail named Sterling, hatch the perfect, delicious plan. Sir Ladybug is the first in a new graphic novel series featuring the adventures of a ladybug knight and his pals in the dandelion patch. Woven seamlessly into this funny and surprising story are the themes of friendship, bravery, teamwork, and creative thinking, and helping others. Read Sir Ladybug by Corey Tabor. Beacon Alley by Norm Feely. Beacon Alley, a brand new series about flying friends. Unlikely Friends is the first book of the series. There are two main characters, a grumpy alligator and a silly bird. Alley the alligator is very happy being alone until one day a noisy bird named Bee clamped on her snout. Beak thinks Allie is lonely and a day for friend. Beak the bird wants to do a lot of things like riding bikes together and going to the movies. But when someone crashes Beak's party, Allie decides to show Beak something important to her sticking up for what's right. 